Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna do something really cool today. Um, this is for the T blog. Uh, this is for characters. The book character. Uh, day two. Okay, this is gonna be day two. Uh, but here we go. First, we're gonna start out in Luke 24, 25 through 27. All right. Today we are going to read Luke. 24, 25 through 27. Uh, I'm going to bring up Luke. No, not that Luke. That's Luke Skywalker. Wrong Luke. Let's, oh, there, there we go. Okay. Luke, the Gospel of Luke. There we go. Then he said unto them, O oh, fools, and slow of hearts, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things? And to enter into his glory, and the beginning at Moses's, Mo, wow! At the beginning at Moses, and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all scriptures, the things communicating. Or no, wow! I'm really out of it. The things concerning himself. There was a television. Oh, I messed up already. There was a television show that aired in the 1950s called "What's My Line." The game show involved four panelists who took turns asking mystery questions in order to determine his identity. At the end of the show, the mystery guest revealed his identity. After his resurrection, Jesus appeared to some of his believers on the road of. Or the robe to Emmaus. Jesus told them, and the Old Testament pointed to a mystery guest, a savior, who'd one day come to save God's people. The believers had no idea they were talking to the risen Christ. Later, their blindfolds were removed, and they realized they were talking to Jesus. Jesus' death? Friday? That's in the ancient writings from more than a thousand years ago? Yes. Why are you so slow to believe the prophecies that said the Messiah would have to suffer exactly the way this Jesus did? How do you guys like that? I liked it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move right here because I think it looks really cool. No, I'm just playing. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have two questions this time. Okay. Jesus has been at work in your life and trying to communicate with you this week. Have you seen him? Have you seen Jesus? Have you seen him walking towards you? If not, your blindfolds have been removed. Jesus has been talking to you. Open up the door and let him in. Okay, here's this one. As you think back over the past few days, what hap what's happened... That was probably God working in your life. I want to know that. Just in the in the thing down down below, please do this. I I like people's comments. It just makes me happy, and I like questions because I like to answer them. And when I don't get questions, I can't answer them. So there you go. But anyways, um, just what has God done for you lately? And have you seen Him doing it? Or did, did you see him do it while he was doing it? Or did you notice, that, was your blindfolds removed afterwards? Just, just, uh, leave a comment. Video response. Those are awesome too, you know. Questions, I love them, okay guys? Come on, get your head in the game. Alright. Um, yeah, this has been T-Log today. Uh, talk to you later.